Okay, hi everyone. So today let's discuss this interesting problem. So it says an unruly demonstrator lifts a stone of mass 200 gram from the ground and throws it at his opponent. Uh, at the time of projection, the stone is 150 centimeter above the ground and has a speed of 3 meter per second. Calculate the work done by the demonstrator during the process. Fine. So, काफी simple है. आप देखो, there is a stone lying on the ground, right? Initially, stone uh, was lying on the ground and the demonstrator applies some force on the stone and he lifts the stone at a height of 150 centimeter from the ground and then throws it with a speed of 3 meter per second. So, we have to find out the work done by the demonstrator so you can see uh, that demonstrator will apply some force right let's say capital f it can be any type of force it may be variable it can be constant you don't have to bother about the type of force there is some force applied by the demonstrator on the stone and this force will perform some work on the stone and that is what we have to find out right so if we apply work energy theorem it says work done by all the forces is equal to change in kinetic energy which is final kinetic energy minus initial kinetic energy. Now, how many forces are acting on this uh, stone? You can see, ek to, uh, external force lag hai, capital F, right? Applied by the demonstrator. And there is one more force, which is the weight of the stone, right? Vertically downward act karega, mg. So, uh, two forces lag hai. So, work done by capital F, jo hume nikal hai, plus work done by mg, that is equal to change in kinetic energy, final kinetic energy minus initial kinetic energy. Now, initial kinetic energy of the stone is zero because initially your stone is lying on the ground, right? It was at rest. So, initial kinetic energy is zero. What is final kinetic energy? You can see final kinetic energy is half of m into v square. V is 3. So, v square, right? Uh, so, work done by capital F. Now, what is work done by mg? That is minus of change in gravitational potential energy because mg is a conservative force. So, work done by mg will be minus of change in gravitational potential energy. So, work done by f, which we have to that is half of m into v square plus delta u. So, half of m into v square plus mgh. What is, what is delta u? That is mgh final minus h initial. Or h final minus h initial, how much will be This is your h final, right? Or this is your h initial. So, the height difference that is given 50, uh, 150 centimeter that is your h. So, I have written h here. Anna? What is this h? h final minus h initial. So, dekho, kitna hai? Uh, m common a gaya, v square by 2 plus g h. So, everything is given. Mass de rakha hai 150 gram. So, you can take uh, 150 de rakha hai na? Uh, 200 gram de rakha hai. So, 0 0.2 kilogram, right? V kitna de rakha hai? 3. So, 3 uh, rakh sakte hai G ka value 9.81 or H is given 150 centimeter, uh, 1.5 meter. So, from here we can calculate the work done by the uh, demonstrator during the process. Fine. Uh, if it takes uh, 1 second for the demonstrator to lift the stone and throw, what uh, horsepower does he use? Fine. So, we power nikalna hai. Power is rate of doing work. Uh, work upon time. Right. We have already calculated the work and time is given 1 second. So, you can find out the value of power from here. Once you get the power, uh, actually the power you will calculate, it will be in watt, right? It will be in watt as a unit. So, you have to convert this power to HP, horsepower. So, you will divide this power by 746. So, I think you already know these things. Fine, I think it's clear. Let me know if you still have any confusion. Okay, guys, keep working hard. Best of luck. Bye.